Hello everyone, on this episode of Replay, we're playing another soul-crushing game <laughs> starring uh, the Blue Hedgehog, who, uh, guess what, guys? What? He's a part of our universe, or actually, we're a part of his universe now. I'm Andrew Reiner, that's Kyle Hilliard. Finally, we're in there. Ben Reeves is here. Click, click, sonic boom. And uh, Ben Hansen's in the control room. Here come the boys from the south. <laughs> so we, uh, <laughs> we just learned that the Sonic Boom cartoon which aired on, what, Cartoon Network or something like that? Yeah, sure. We uh, just learned that we were interested in the Sonic Boom cartoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been interested in it for months uh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And, been th and, and I have stood by it as being better than you think it would be, but still not, you know, amazing. Kyle, if I drew an animated little flip book, it'd be enough of a cartoon for you to be deeply devoted to. That's like, true. You know, it's not that bad. But I have watched a couple <laughs> episodes, and it's, you know, it's not that bad. But we just learned that Game Informer's Super Replay is referenced in an episode. That's right. It's insane. It's because cool. one of the sound de designers, Felix Davin, shout out Felix, is a big Super Replay fan and decided to put an Easter egg in one of the episodes. That's right. And that's how you earn our love. <laughs> yeah. Is put our so replay into your work. And it's nice that it came from him and not like some corporate fat cat that says <laughs> we're going to get that Game Informer attention. We're going to make him play money. that crappy Wii U game this week on replay. <laughs> uh, by the way, Sonic died. Uh, I don't know if you guys are paying attention. Thank that was just God! Finally! I mean, we had to play a whole game in Sonic 06 to get to that point. Oh, like Tarantino here, my yeah. God. In media res or something. Is that the right term? In so, interest res. Reeves, <laughs> what was the Easter egg that's in the Sonic Boom cartoon? It was a uh, Bramblin' Bran Bran Cookies. Has Ninja You're, Day, has it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you even say it right? I thought it was no, Bramble did. Brand. He what, completely. What did I say? He created it. You said and Brambling. Just botched it. Bramblin'. No, it's not Bramblin'. It's Bramble Brand. Bramble brand brand. cookies for the brand children. Give yeah, for your brand children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is that character, by the way? Is it like an old man or something? <laughs> It's so, my grandfather, Kyle. Cool. In the episode... I'm possessed by, uh, by my old grandfather. Oh, God, I'm playing. In the episode, Dr. Eggman is surfing TV like he does, just chilling at home. Right. And as he's flipping channels, he comes across a commercial for Bramble Brand grandchildren. And, wait, wait uh, the commercials for the brand children themselves? <laughs> It's Bramble Brand for the Brand Children. Oh, okay. Does it does it say Brand Children in the episode? No, it, I think it just says Bramble Brand. Bramble Brand Cookies or something. Brand, it, yeah. It's literally like they only had a second to, to get yeah. that reference in there. It so. was such a small thing where you're like, wait a minute, that's not a thing. Outside of replay, is it? I was like thinking, like, is that a thing outside of replay? Like, <laughs> did I not invent this? Or yeah, like, that's uh, what I was wondering for a second. There was so much confusion uh, during the episode when it was in the Super Re Replay of Super Metroid, Episode 2, at about the 30-minute mark, uh, if you want to go look it up. But, yeah, Ben just... Tim Turry, who's no longer with us, he's passed away. God rest his soul. Uh, he's at Capcom. He saw something in the environment, and he just said, those are brambles or something those like brambles. that. And then out of nowhere, Ben just said, Bramble Brand. <laughs> brand well, cookies. The, brand cookies. Well, like, because you surfaced the clip yesterday, Reiner, in a story on the site, and I and I had never heard the whole thing, and I watched it, and it really is out of nowhere. Yeah, like, and you, you oh, developed this old man character who loves cookies just on food. the spot. Yeah, Tim, who's, like, seriously unshaken by anything, has a great sense of humor for everything, he just immediately is like, what? <laughs> what is this? And then Joe asks, like, did you just come up with that? And you're like, yeah, I, I want cookies. Yeah, I wanted a cookie. <laughs> I'm hungry. Time. I vaguely remember that. I and then what was the best part is it, it became a shirt, which are yeah, still we, available, we, actually. Yeah, you could buy it on Spreadshirt. Do a search on Spreadshirt and Game Informer, so and you'll find uh, our entire Super Replay catalog of t-shirts. So if you're a fan of Sonic Boom, the show, and you've come across this video because you like the show, you could go buy that shirt. Yes. And be a fan as a, as a Sonic Boom shirt. Correct. It, it, it now doubles as that. That's yeah. right. And fun fact, guys, we're actually playing a Sonic Boom video game right that, now. That's, oh, right. That's second It's like tier. the world is eating. Itself. This is Rise of the <laughs> Rise of Lyric. 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 Before that, it was pure instrumental. <laughs> and uh, it is on Wii U. It is based on uh, the new version of Sonic from the show. You can see he's got, like, bandaged, weird mummy arms and legs. Right. Which, has he already been abandoned outside of the show? The show's still going, I think, and is 
people seem to like it, but this game series is done. I right? think Sonic Boom is like the Mega Man X. Like this is like a different Sonic. Cause like even Sonic Forces, he's not wearing the weird mummified yeah. shoelaces or whatever. That's like a generation sequel or something. Sonic Forces? So, yeah. Right. It's almost like they don't really it's have all their like ducks in a row. Or you're not paying attention to their f***ing ducks, Kyle. You're, you're right. Yeah. You know what? I. You're right, Hanson. I'm, I'm sorry to have upset you. I didn't realize you were so passionate about this. not a duck. He's a fox. <laughs> Are there any ducks in the Sonic universe? There yes. should be. Yes. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to throw away those cloacas? <laughs> What's this? That's good fan drawing. Gentlemen, I found a secret. <laughs> it's right there in the opening environment. It's on screen, but it's a secret. <laughs> But the best part of that Easter egg being in Sonic means that we are now part of Sonic's lore. That's right. Like, they should make a Wikipedia entry for that in the we, Sonic wiki. Oh, we are so. Sonic. I mean, it's kind of beautiful the fact that Game Informer started with the Sonic cover in 1991. That's true. It's full oh, circle. Full spin right. dash. Full spin dash. And we don't even like him anymore. We think he's terrible. Yeah. Sonic Mania was just last year, everybody. Let's give him a break. <laughs> So is our I, Sonic 06 Super Replay. I, I ended is, up liking no Sonic Mania. Let's head over there. I ended up playing Sonic Mania a little bit. That's right. <laughs> Wait, did That's you... That's what I meant. Did you mean, Reeves, that like, you started out not liking it? I didn't love it, and then I kind of play-hated it for a while, and then... Uh, <laughs> Playhate.com. And then it tied me to a chair for a month <laughs> and fed me ravioli, and it, yeah, I grew to appreciate it. That's cool. What a maniac. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, a secret. Hey, Reiner, I gotta say, so far, this does not look that bad. This doesn't bad. look terrible. Yeah. It looks well, fine. The, it, it's slowing down in places where it really shouldn't be. Uh, like, when he was running, even the opening cutscene, there was, like, a slowdown. Sure. Which is a little huh. I don't think that even works. Who reviewed this, though? Probably Brian, Brian Shea, right? I don't think we reviewed well, it. I don't know if he was around then. Yeah, because we don't like him, and this, we just want him to play all bad did, Sonics. I, I remember playing this at an event and kind of being intrigued by it, and it does seem place. like a product of, you take like, because it's a right. new studio. It's not a uh, internal like Sega. Big red right? button. Mm. Big red button, right? Yeah. And I do wonder if they had had more time if this game would have been better, what? because it seems like... What's happened? <laughs> I can't... Wait. Really? I can't go... Oh, it's It went weird. 2D. Because like they had a follow up for 3DS, which Shay liked a decent amount, and I actually I like them, you know, like okay. approaching Sonic from a you know a different direction, changing the character model a good bit. Uh huh. Like I like all that stuff. He and, looks really tall though. It's throwing me off. And he and it looks like up until this point, it looks like he's he was pretty fun. Like in this kind of scenario, he looks like he's fun to control, which is rare for Sonic that he's fun to control when he's not going full speed. He's a little loose, I'll yeah. tell you. Okay. Okay. Is that right? It doesn't feel Is that good. The I, problem? I think the animation kind of looks cool for yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's a little all over the place. Like I like. The, I'm making it look good. I like the design uh -huh. and animation uh, for sure. But yeah, it looks like there's some technical issues and and I, I don't know. This game just seemed rushed. Every element of it just yeah. seemed like it came out faster than it should have. Right, right. Got to go fast. You know? That's how Sonic all goes. these gold rings. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Where why do they get off? Where is he? Why is he collecting these That's, things? I think they're coins. Oh. <laughs> Wait, didn't we make that mistake one time? Oh, why yeah, is... oh in Sonic 06, we did that intentionally to piss people off. Well, all the time. I think we did it as a joke initially, and then commenters got upset. So, you know, we pillars. responded by saying, screw you guys. Where's we're Sonic? Coins. Where'd he go? Sonic. Where's that little bugger? Oh. Are you being shy, Sonic? Ah, there, oh, there you are. Oh, boo! So this game, I don't... I, we, maybe we can I'm test this, but there was a bug in this game. Uh, that I, I know, Check like, Game out. Grumps really dug into a lot. Like, that's where I found out about it. What it's, was the bug's name? Uh, I, well, I don't know. Maybe we can learn together. But it, apparently you could it's jump and press pause and then unpause and keep jumping. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, you can just... time? Yeah, well, I don't... They, like, who... Who knows if that's how it works in the Wii U version? And I think it was might have just been Knuckles. Okay. But like you huh. could just jump over any barrier in the game because you could just jump, pause, unpause, jump, pause, unpause. Why not? <laughs> if you're if you're smart enough to figure that out, have at it. Yeah, exactly. Hanson, you were gonna ask me a question like 15 minutes ago before I'm, Kyle became a rambling Rand. I have a lot to say about this game. Rambling Rand. Apparently. I was gonna ask Rand. Reiner if you remember how much in the pitch in the build up to this game they they convey that like hey big red button couple former naughty dog devs oh yeah they really sold the naughty dog angle which is a very weird connection for this game they're uh, like hey do you like naughty dog we're like well yeah do you like naughty hedgehogs and then they're like do you well, yeah. like sega and we're like 
Kinda. <laughs> And they're like, well, cool. what do you think about Sonic? And we just laughed. Uh, yeah, was there a cover pitch at one yes. point for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All the viewers know that. <laughs> uh, did we, right. we passed on it, though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's a secret cover we never released, Kyle. Oh. So the sound designer, by the way, who put in our right. Super Replay. I'm not going to stop talking about that. Yeah, it's oh, exciting. Okay. Um, he uh, he worked on like 104 episodes of the show, uh -huh. and he said he handled like all the sound effects outside of like audio and or the, you know the the dialogue and music. So I mean, he had kind of free reign to do what he wanted. Sure, but he said he thought the director of the show uh, would have got rid of the Bramble Brand thing, but. She didn't. She left it in, and uh, he is tickled beyond belief. Huh. So am I. Ryder, I want to remind you, you're so tickled by it. You're in perfect dark for the N64. One of the greatest games of all time. Your face is in it. That's, like, that's so on, much better. That's not on Cartoon Network, Hanson. It's exactly. better than Cartoon Network. It craps on Cartoon Network for lunch. So... If, you just say that because you haven't watched recent Cartoon Network. Now that probably. all of us are recognized as Sonic characters... <laughs> that's right. What, Which is way better than being a perfect dart. What uh, what role would you like to have in this universe, Kyle? Well, Who would you want to be? Like, what would you be doing? I'd want to be. Oh, you know what? Actually, you, it's you. It's technically yeah. you. Like human you. Like in Sonic 06, Sonic makes out with that girl, the human yeah. girl. Mm -hmm. So you're making out with Amy. Is that what you're saying, Kyle? That you were saying, yeah, Kyle. Who do you want to make out with? I can tell us already. Uh, I, so here's the thing. I was gonna say Sonic because you know why wouldn't you? You want to make out with Sonic? That's right. But in this world, I think uh, Doctor Robotnik like Sonic, lives in a no, modern like facility sure. with air conditioning, and he has television where he sees references to Game Informer Super replays. So you I don't want, know if we've talked about that. Enough. So you yeah. want Doctor Robotnik to be your sugar daddy? I want to be Doctor Robotnik. Oh I, no, you so can't. Just it's so not role reversal. You want to be in him? Oh well, then I just want you have to be Kyle Hilliard. What is your lot in life in okay. the Sonic? Verse? I'm just a dude that hangs out in Doctor Robotnik's facility and just tries to stay Guys, low and not get in his line of sight. Flicking his mean bean machine. Yeah. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna Are you gonna bleep that, Hanson? <laughs> I'll determine it, it in post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? It's a video game. Yeah, That's true. Man. That's Flick funny. those things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ben Reese, what about you? <laughs> uh, I want to be Sonic. I, you're not getting this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it'd be cool if, uh, I don't know, could I have, like, Metal Sonic as, like, my pet? You'd have could to be learn owner? how to reprogram <gasps> oh, 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 Shadow! Oh, and there's Shadow. Oh, yeah, I could be the guy that fixes, uh, Super Shadow Sonic. I don't know. <laughs> Just a my, mechanic? <laughs> Just you, are you a Cino. mechanic right now? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, but a terrible one. So I'd probably like as soon as he breaks, I just wouldn't know how to fix him. <laughs> do you guys do the thing where your car breaks and then you open the hood and you're like, oh, let me fix this. Let me open the hood and then you're like, oh yeah, I don't know anything about cars. Immediately burst into tears. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. That's me too. Like I see the engine light go on and I'm like, I don't know what to do. But I just hope there's like one like spring that came up and then yes. I just push back down and then it would. That's work. the thing. Like I always forget that like that never happens. You can't open the hood and there's just like one thing that's clearly out of place that you can Thanks, just rotate yeah. and I just I always forget. <laughs> Did the same thing with my air conditioning a couple weeks ago. You do it like in Far Cry where you just have the blowtorch <laughs> that you just hold up against the side of the thing and then it's fixed. Yeah. Kyle, we could barely put a labo piano together, let alone change a carburetor or whatever men do. Exactly. I, uh, Ryder, who would you be in Sonic? Oh, I'd be the master manipulator. I would, uh, what is this? So you'd be the guy I would be like robot? tearing Sonic and Amy and all of them apart. I'd be like a what? worm tongue like kind of figure. Is this what am I supposed to do? Did you just say that because there was a Lord of the Rings reference in the game, Reiner? No, that was just perfect time. So what jump, I, what jump do I up and do? press Y. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, Thank you, God. Nicely done. Um, yeah, I would really just want to destroy their their lives because I hate them a well, lot. You could work for Robotnik then. So you would, I could. No, you I, could hang I, out. I want to be a new threat. Oh, okay. okay. You know, there's like Joker. I'm more like Penguin. So, mm. and, but Chubby. You, would, you would actually be like hey. a legitimate threat in the yes. Sonic universe. Well, like, they wouldn't know it though. Yeah, like they'd think like, oh, well, this will be fun. We'll yeah. beat this guy, but you're like murdering them. I'd be you like, be hey, friend. let's go see Solo, a Star Wars story together. But then, like when like Sonic is going to the bathroom or to get, you know, some popcorn or whatever, I'm gonna be like saying bad things about him to Amy. 
That's your grand plan? Oh, uh, you, so you don't mean literally. I thought you meant literally like tear off their limbs. <laughs> oh, that would come later. <laughs> you mean like just like break up the be social. A, that would be like the dark part of my life there. Okay, but when just... I thought like I couldn't do anything else, then I would physically take them okay, apart. Okay, but you're talking about like like make it, push it, putting them against each other, manipulating yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, and just uh, making them hate each other. Okay. Yeah, just really dark stuff. All right. What about you, Hanson? Mmm. <laughs> have to go with Knuckles Barber or just <laughs> overall indentured servant. I don't, I think those are, I don't think that's hair, is it? Is I don't know, tendrils? but I'm going to try to cut it, whatever it is. <laughs> like, ah, ah, good God, those, <laughs> those are my are knuckles. My no. <laughs> <A> defining thing. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Just bleeding all over the place. I got a secret. That's why he's red, guys. That was cool. Is that why your hair is red, Kyle? It's just blood? <laughs> that's how it works. You guys didn't know that about redhead? It's red, reds. I wonder where this bounce pad leads Oh, I knew that, actually. Ah, this gameplay is not good. Bad. You know... It doesn't look offensive, though. <laughs> look, Ryder, you know? like, it really... None of us are playing it, but I'm it seems it. fine. This light beam may open the door out of this crazy place. Oh, light beam puzzles. Puzzles and games. Always now we're good. talking. Let's get out of here. How? Do you think those Naughty Dog folks worked on Jack and Dexter? They did. They go all the way back to Crash. Oh, really? Yeah. That, oh, well, that's... That, so that yeah, just sounds like work. the perfect recipe. Then. Yeah. Why did we turn that cover down? Well, you remember <laughs> remember one person <laughs> that goes to a new place does not necessarily mean that he's bringing all the talent of Naughty Dog with him. Yeah, but yeah, they're like, it's, it's someone who worked at Naughty Dog and we're like, programmer, artist. And they're like, no, no. He was a guy. And we're like, well... What, what was his role? And they're just kind of like, janitor. <laughs> just coughing through it. Yeah. <laughs> janitor. I can glide Excuse over me. to that. Oh, you can hover now. Care tails. Hey, look at those brambles. Mm. Apparently, his name's Bob Ruffay, and he was the art director yeah. on Crash 1, 2, 3, Team Racing, Jack and Daxter, Jack 2, Jack 3, Jack X Combat Racing. Holy crap. And uh, he worked as a co-game director on Uncharted 1. So not a really? great body of work. <laughs> basically a janitor. <laughs> basically a janitor. Be a good place to oh, he basically cleaned up for all their mistakes. We need to activate that button. See this game? This game should have been great. It should have. Yeah. I mean, when you get Bob on it, <laughs> Bob, they got Bob. No, uh, he's one of the he's one of the OGs at Naughty Dog. Yeah, like with uh, Andy Gavin and uh, Jason Rubin and Co. I mean, I I don't know how. It just seems, and maybe this is a a problem with most Sonic games, but it just. I wonder if they should just given it more time. Like every every yes. time a new Sonic game comes out, it just seems like unfinished. Like they're in a rush to get it done. One hundred percent. If you got a Sonic game and you start working on it, you'd have like grand plans, and you'd start realizing that he's just terrible, and you'd be like, "All right, let's just rush this out." So or that's like part thing. of the stick? No, I think like overall Sega's just dependent on like we need that Sonic cash yeah. flow every year. We've already yeah. banked on it. We funded everything else based on that. We have Yakuza eighteen coming out our butt. We need wow. a Sonic game to hit this year. See you in hell. <laughs> See you in hell. Sign the contract. The Sign the contract. Right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I would. I would like Go backwards? to backwards. What do you think? Uh, even even these guys, especially like Trail these guys. Left. Just have more time. Just like you, you know, want to go over here. I think I, I gotta go up there. But you already went over here. Up here, to the left now. Just a good like. Three, or did I already do this? Three four years to make a Sonic game while while Sega's like spitting out the duds. Okay. You know? Absolutely. Unfortunately, that costs money. Yeah, I would love to see that too. I'm sure. But yeah, it's weird that it's just Sonic's in the weird enough place where he earns enough money, even with his terrible games, that he can get by. Rings are always Mainly Brian Shea merchandise. These buttons seem to always activate <laughs> oh, there you something. go. I did it. Almost that missed that. Seems to be the reason we are stuck. I gotta go back. Yeah, you probably can't make it up there. Yeah, go it's around like roundabouts. What a jerk. How does he play? Not great. So you guys a little would, slower. You guys would play a good Sonic game, is what you're saying? Of course. We'll play any I good mean, game. Gun to my head, I would play a good <laughs> game. <laughs> Come on, man. Girl I would off. gladly play a good Sonic game, but yeah. I'm defeated after Sonic 06. Well, how'd you guys feel? I will never forgive him. How'd you guys feel about um, Mania? Uh, a good 3D Sonic game. That's good. Let's get out of here. Are you more of a 3D man? Yeah, I don't. I've never liked 2D Sonic. Have you ever liked a 2D game in your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I buy yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Name 30. <laughs> Top five: 30, Mega Man X, Donkey Kong Country One, Mega Man X Two. 
Donkey Kong Country 2. All right. All right. Mega Man. Name 30 that aren't Mega Man X or Donkey Kong. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Or Mario. Okay, we're we're relieved of him right now. It's all right. You can keep listing. <laughs> all right, let's. Okay. I already, I already oh. did this. Oh shit! He said drill dozer. So <laughs> Damn it! He's a real gamer. He said the magic word. <laughs> Finally, I've proven my value. This guy's hardcore. What? I mean, we've asked this question all the time, but you know, time changes. There's new game experiences that come out. What does Sonic need to do now? Be you got to keep going with Mania. Drive, drive a car. It's you and me. <laughs> That's gonna happen. I know. Yeah. Is that a leak or is that just a actual announcement? Reiner, this is after E3. We know all about it. Oh, you know, personally, what I always thought was cool is like he's basically a platformer with a speed platformer. I always thought the like oh, she tripled. Prince of Persia games were a cool format that like mm. Sonic could do something like that where he's like running across walls and like doing a bunch of like cool like parkour style things. Okay. But kind of fast, but mm. I feel like they always emphasize the speed. To such a degree where it becomes unplayable, right? Where you want yeah. it to be fun and fast, but you don't want it to be just fast for the sake of speed. I'm it, feeling your jam, dude. That, and you know what I think? Something like Sunset Overdrive. Oh, where he can, can kind of like surf on lines, sure. and, you know, grab onto stuff. And Got tood. Yeah. 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 Give us some tood. Drink soda. Give us some tood, guys. Tood but, us, mommy. Reeves, I, I think you're right. I think that the, the secret to a good Sonic game would just be to slow him down a little bit. Yeah. Like in a weird way, honestly. Yeah. Iron boots. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Puzzles. That's a good form of torture. A water dungeon. All right. I'm listening. Mm, a blue tunic, maybe? Mm. Reiner, did you play the Dark Brotherhood Bioware's classic RPG? Yes, <laughs> um. We'll put them on the map, I think. Oh, Sonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On 3DS. Look yeah, that game was cool. Rings. Did you really? Wow. Yeah. On, on just regular DS. Or DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it looks worse than you remember. Oh, really? Did you remember? Uh, no, it? it just looks worse. I don't remember. Was that... That was before oh. Mass Effect? Was it? Or was That's it actually Effect? what inspired Mass Effect. <laughs> I think I think you're right. I yeah. think that was... That would have been after Mass Effect, but... How did you find before that? Before Mass Effect 2, I believe. Okay. There's no way of knowing. I'm yeah, the inspiration is... We need to create a menace to destroy all of humanity and the universe because Sonic is that bad. It is. It, and, and that's what they came up with. Everyone, I the always reboot. forget about that game because everyone's like, oh, Bioware is amazing. Bio, you know, and, and then it's just like, oh yeah, but then they did that weird Sonic RPG. It's well, always like that asterisk that everyone always forgets about. Which they claim they don't, well, <clears throat> don't one remember. Of the, one of the producers on that game I was talking to recently and uh, and he said he does not Whoa. remember how it came to be. Why? Oh, come on. No. Oh, that's messed up. Like who reached out to who initially? Really, which that's is confusing. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, just one person is remembered. Oh, sorry, you're oh. screwed. <laughs> I was like, game broke. <laughs> that that seems weird. I agree. Amy, oh, no. what you want to do? <laughs> Yo, I like that she has a hammer. She always has a hammer. I know. You're that's what I like about the character of Amy. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair. She's like Harley Quinn. I like that Sonic has shoes. Yeah, he has cool boots. I like that tails. Ooh. Oh, Amy! What are you, what are you doing? You're on the right side of history now, know. boy. Speaking uh, of going on it. the right side of history, you got to go to the right. Correct? Okay. There you go. Just like all of history should. I think we actually <laughs> reviewed that song oh. that pretty well, right? Political. Uh, I think we did. You're right. Like an eight or something? Get me out of here. I don't know if I want to get crazy with an eight, but... Should, you should I do that? You should pull up the soundtrack part. Should I do this? <laughs> oh, you should have hit the button. Am I going all the way down? Okay, good. Thank God. Here we go. She sees it. Sounds bad. Right in the mama trumpet. Don't know. Are you going to believe that, too? Uh, what yep. is that mean? <laughs> is that a euphemism? You tell me. Hans is just trying to get his own Bramble brand catchphrase. <laughs> right in the mama just, trumpet. Just right in the daddy sack. When is Felix going to pay attention? <laughs> there you go. So there's two for you. Right in the daddy sack. Right in the mama Saxophone. trumpet. Saxophone. Come on, guys. Ooh. Come on. Hit me right in the grandpa pocket. <laughs> Ooh, the nephew cushion. <laughs> <laughs> I can climb this easily. Are you just doing the same level with all the characters? Yeah, this is not good. I think you're this is doing... like a, you know what this is? It's like a, a vertical slice of like concept, <laughs> proof of concept. Like here's how they move, yeah. and they just turned it into a level. But what would be really cool is if the tails in the background was doing the pattern that you did when you actually did it. 
You know what I mean? Like you're displaced in time. You like saw you guys exactly are all, what he was doing. You yeah. guys are all doing it simultaneously, kind of. I think that's what they're saying because that's the. We need to Wait, is he back there? I wonder if that even is. Yeah, what what's he doing, doing back there? What you doing there, Tails? <clears throat> Do you guys ever just like wake up in the morning and look in the mirror? Probably in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. man, probably that, in the nude and just stare and just deeply wonder that's why what you. A man looks like. Right. right. Yeah. Wonder why Knuckles was so cool when you were a kid. <laughs> Because I effing love Knuckles, and I don't really? know why. Something about the design just popped, you know? He seems mad. Is that I, what it is? I think so. For me, it's more like, what would he taste like? <laughs> uh-huh. Like, uh -huh. he looks like... Someone put this that looks like that meat would be good. Right. Very edible. Red There's meat. no doubt about it. Big fan? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Just, you know, medium it's just, rare. It's just Knuckles. blood, right? <laughs> Hanson, you've kind of blown my mind here. Just the yeah, like I why was why was Knuckles like? Cause you cool? thought he was cool too, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was like his. Uh, he had like he had hair. attitude. I think he, it was it was as simple as good design. He felt like the underdog. Cause he was like the the B character, and he had a cool ability oh climbing God. walls that I cared more about than going fast. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's probably it. And he could basically fly. He could glide, I guess. But yeah, leave yeah. a comment about how I'm sucking. Why did we should write an editorial? Why did not? Why was Knuckles cool? Right. And what would he taste like? I don't know. Well, I think um, we know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Shay has spoken with the artists, you know, for Sonic and stuff like that, and that they had some some cool ideas of like when they were designing like the original Sonic. This is like an, a, a feature that Shay wrote somewhere. Is that like something that was really important to hit, to them for creating Sonic? Was he had to be simple enough that children could draw him? Uh huh. Which I thought right. was like an interesting That's idea. That's kind of neat. That's uh, super smart. And right. I. And I wonder if that, you know, what, what went into Knuckles' design? Like, what were the core sort of facets of Knuckles? Sure. That... Here's a... And also Lamb. <laughs> yes, that Lamb is also like. crucial. Uh, I'm fascinated by, like, the simplicity of those designs, Kyle. Like, uh, the most fascinating thing to me in the world was I was playing arcade games with my nephew, who was, like, three at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are playing Marvel vs. Capcom. And it was like, all right, choose which character you want out of any character. And he looked at all the characters and he said, that guy. And it was Mega Man. Yeah. And it's like, he has no idea who Mega Man is, what Mega Man is. But like that design, there's something so clean and attractive about it. That's like, out of all characters, that was it. 10% aloof, 9% adorable. <laughs> that's exactly it. Like, How'd you know that? Oh my gosh. This is starting to feel like Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Wait, are you just doing the same thing again? Yes. Like it's a work of art? <laughs> it's a flawless piece of art, is that what you're saying? <laughs> a top 25 film? A Absolutely. Top uh, five, I'd say. Finally. Sonic hits some of those notes, Hanson, where it's like kids just like him. Yeah, you know, I think so too. Reason. He's got a good look. Yeah. Did you guys ever read uh, Console Wars? I have not, no. So in the book... By Blake Harris, right? I hadn't heard this before, but in the book he talks about See, Sonic's guys, original design. The like they, no when Sega of America got this fax from Sega of Japan that had like Sonic's original design and he had like a spiked collar and he was playing a guitar <laughs> and he had like a human girlfriend with like big breasts it was just like what this is was this? japan's design yeah form? japan's design for him was like way more extreme like in the like tood like 90s era like this is what people like we just can't keep up man that's right now sonic's just bored mm, yum look at him in i was saving you we didn't need saving yeah uh oh, what? Well, who's that? Uh, you woke guys, up the lizard. The lizard, Big Daddy. What are they called in Land of the Lost? Sleeve stacks? Sounds about right. Oh, yeah. You. I don't. I think I watched the remake with Will Ferrell. You oh boy, God, right? You're young. On. I like this design. This is like a snake, no but he wears a suit about, that gives him sure arms. Sure that is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. No, that's really cool. Bad Hold on, guys. We've that's actually, something Naughty Dog might come up with. We've been on board with the designs from the beginning, though, to be clear. We like this design mm -hmm. for Sonic. We like the athletic tape. It's like Earthworm Jim. Remember that? Yeah. I just thought that was a really cool idea, because he's just a worm. <laughs> but he had like some suit that made him like a cool human. About? Even Tails has kind of a steampunk quality there, right? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. nice. Technically steampunk, I think, is the art direction <laughs> they're going for. <laughs> but I, I remember when this was announced, people were down on the... Oh, I'm sorry, Reeves. I, you were going to say something far more interesting, I think. No, Earthworm Jim is interesting. Like, I don't know how he controls that suit, though, Reeves. Like, does he flex, like, his lower abdomen to move his arm? Yeah, I don't know if he's just, like, he's got... The rest of his body is wrapped around the controls. And Wait. That's how he does it? Worms have two brains, right? Oh, really? One on each they have One on each brain? end, so maybe he plugs in the brain. 
Am I making that up? Uh, One. I um, don't know. I didn't know that. Are you thinking of uh, dinosaurs? <laughs> dinosaurs yeah. have tiny brains. Dinosaurs had no, two but like brains. they had. Oh wait, they had two hearts. Is that what it was? All dinosaurs had two hearts. Well, I remember like the Brachiosaurus. It has two of something crazy. Legs. Right. I think it's I four think it's, legs. I want to oh, say two legs. brains. Uh, you know what? No, I think Ryder's right though, because that's why you can cut a worm in half and they can still survive. Because they become two beings. Basically. Cows have four stomachs. Can you cut them into fours? You uh, can actually. I'm looking up worms too, Brent. Here, Kyle, you play. You oh, crap. Uh, but the. Okay, I can punch. Uh, do worms have two brains? Uh, segmented worms have two cerebral oh, ganglia, which are considered primitive brains. The simplest animals go, with this characteristic. There you go. Okay. All right, back to you. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I thought you could cut really big ones into three. Pieces. Cows? Is that not true? You're second. thinking of humans. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did that with the human ones. <laughs> oh, did you? By the way, I, I, I'm totally on board for like, uh, let's let's revisit Earthworm Jim. Let's like reboot him. Let's bring yeah. him back. Sonic Mania style. Bring him back. Well, then the creators say some crappy stuff on Twitter. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what it was exactly, but I have a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. How about was somebody David else Perry do it then? And... Great work, buddy. Maybe we can oh, what was his name? The uh, Neverhood. Yes, yeah, it was those guys. But whoever has the rights to it, I, I'd be up for someone revisiting it. They were you know? making um, Earthworm Jim 3D for a long time, it feels like. Earthworm Jim 3D on Nintendo 64 is awful. Yeah, I don't want that. I'd be, I'd be up for like a 2D version. But yes, yeah, somebody new. Somebody new take on Earthworm Jim and do something interesting. Not it out. I met the creator of uh, Earthworm Jim. I got like a drawing of Earthworm Jim at Roman? like an E3 several years ago. So you just draw a line? <laughs> yeah. So it was the he worm. didn't draw the Whoops. suit. He just drew the worm. I was very disappointed. <laughs> okay, A button, not that. That was yeah. Cool. It's different on. Whoa. Hey, cool. Oh, this is kind of cool. Reiner, I think wow. this game's cool, man. This is exactly what I was talking about. Sunset Overdrive. You're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the the surge or whatever that game was about. I'm more I'm more interested in this uh, in Boom as a franchise than uh, argue, okay? what was the other one? Mania. No. The, the other 3D one. Um, Unleashed. Mario Odyssey? Was it Unleashed? Hanson, you said it earlier. I just don't remember what it was called. The most recent 3D Sonic. Where you're thinking of Sonic Forces. Forces. I'm more interested. I would I would be more interested in a boom to the fall of Lyric than a... Than a what did you say? What was it called? <laughs> By more forces, interested, forces you mean... Too. Uh, what does more interested mean? You might watch a trailer. You're not going to buy it and play it. I mean, I don't know if it's good. If it was done by, the, like, the Naughty Dog team. Like, if like, Naughty Dog got off their yeah. Let's say yeah. if the news was, hey, Sonic Boom 2 is coming, you know what? We've taken a lot more time on this one. We've actually gotten, like, we've taken our time. We've made it good. I, I would I would play it when we got sure. in the office. And check okay. It out. Ooh, Guys, frame rate. Yeah, that's right. crazy. I have an even better idea. So I said Sunset Overdrive, right? Away. Yes. Yeah. I completely forgot about that developer's other series, Insomniac Games. Spider Man? Ratchet and Clank. Oh, sure. Just reskin that, <clears throat> have it be combat focused, but then have Weapons? running segments <laughs> and <laughs> some of the traversal from like Spider Man and Bad. Sunset Bad. Overdrive. Bad. I, I, All Bad. together. Bad. One no. fish ball of Bad awesome. Pitch. Don't give Sonic a gun. I don't think Sonic needs to have more combat, honestly. I yeah, like less the combat. Platforming. You don't need to give him guns. Well, then he it's can not dash Ratchet around. Then it's just a completely different game. No, his powers could be like based on his movements. He could this still be the pinball bouncing around. That's is one. Bad. <laughs> so there's but pinball. What, where's the Ratchet sections? and Clank starting line then? Uh, he has a little robot. <laughs> that's it. He just has a robot. He needs a he little just robot. Has Clank. Oh, you Hanson can will heroes, fix man. all that. I never said anything. And the robot's buddy is named. Spank. 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 Oh, Sonic and Spank. I would play oh. that. Oh! Wait a minute. Reiner, you got it. Oh, my we gosh. We did it. We circled back around and came up with a good game. Look, four people to swap through. This is like 33% better than the Lost Vikings. <laughs> this just became an open world. All right, look. Well, we like, this just, just got interesting. interesting. Can you change like automatically? Like, Can you change right now? With the change right now? Look at that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my Look how gosh, fast this it is. is intense. Can you like inch forward, just holding up while swapping like that? Yeah, you know, between all four. Can I yeah. do what? So like start, hold, start walk forward, forward okay, slowly, and on. then and then swap. Can you yeah, walk just more keep, slowly? No, just keep playing. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> now this is gameplay, boys. Oh hey, oh switch to knuckles and try that jumping trick. Let's see if that works. What jumping trick? So jump and pause. 
Okay, hold on. So is it a double jump then? Do one jump, then pause. And then unpause and double jump. And then do it again. Let's see if that works. No, okay. That might have they might have patched it. Well, this is not patched. Oh really? Yeah, so, then maybe it wasn't the Wii U version. And maybe the game grumps are. Or a bunch maybe of you just liars. make a crap up, Kyle. I mean, I saw the video, guys. I saw, I saw the video. I don't believe you anymore. I saw it. Oh my god. I saw a video of Bigfoot once, too, dude. Yeah, they confirmed that when you pause and unpause, Bigfoot will appear. What if at E3 this year, like Sony just got on stage and they're like, so far so good. We have unquestionable evidence of Bigfoot <laughs> existing. <laughs> It would be the greatest E3 moment of all time, right? If they chose E3 to oh reveal that for gosh. no reason. And they're like, and they cash in on that by like, we're also releasing a game on PSN right now where you can, it's a 2D platform where you play as Bigfoot. Bigfoot lives. So, okay. Bigfoot and Spanky. Here's the question though. Now. Do they like, <laughs> the the evidence they'd have to bring would be would be Bigfoot, right? Like they'd have to have him. Oh, on like stage. King Kong, like and yeah. everyone's taking oh, and pictures there? of him on stage. Oh, okay, that's man. good. But the question is, do they have him there first and then announce the game, <laughs> or, do, or or do they announce the game? No, they announce Bigfoot they're like, first, and they say as it just as a shameless tie-in marketing wise. Uh huh. We're gonna cash in on this right. wonder of the world, <laughs> and we have Jane Goodall doing the VO in the game. <laughs> And then, uh, then Bigfoot obviously would break out of his chains and kill everyone. And kill Phil Spencer. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. then he talks. Right. It turns out he can speak. It would be the craziest E3 ever. And the first thing he says, Reeves, is four ninety nine on PSN. <laughs> Good price. Oh, Bigfoot <laughs> announces a price drop. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has a tattoo. He like lifts up his like fur. <laughs> he peels see. the fur off. Of well, the he arm. shaved there. Yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just an armband shaved around Bigfoot's. Oh, we really blew it on our E3 bingo predictions that we posted not to have gosh. Sasquatch announce as a price drop. Maybe it's not too late. God, next year, we should put the Sony Confirms existence of Sasquatch <laughs> on our E3 bingo. Kyle, why are you laughing about this? What am I supposed to do? I found a turtle. Well, you found it. Well, you got to come back later. Reiner, I think what you do is you move on to roulette. Because <laughs> I found these. But these seem like progress stores, right? Like, I gotta open it right. somehow. Can Sonic punch them? Yep. Yep, he can. Huh? Oh. No. Oh. All Wait, great. All you great. have electricity? This is pretty good. What the hell's happening? When did you become electricity? You guys weren't watching. What does the Emperor... Turned into a Jedi. What does the Emperor say, Reiner, when he electrocutes somebody? Does there some catchphrase or something? Uh, I'm electrocuting you. Take that! Oh. <laughs> well, bam! <laughs> waka waka! <Yeah>. Got you! <laughs> I elect you! <laughs> what? To be a chancellor? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! Shocking! <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. Uh, it's time terror? for the lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm still tickled by the idea of I elect you, because that goes like, that's not what he wants to do. He wants the opposite of that. I elect you to die. I How elect your main competitor. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, okay, well we did it. We did it. You got to raise all the other ones. Raise them up. Hit How? the box. <gasps> this game is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is as bad as people think it is. <laughs> you guys are all wrong. I think people just they hate it because it's Sonic, right? That's alright. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, Grudges. Right. Yeah. <laughs> alright, we did this. Let's figure out this puzzle. Now, oh, now, you, now you use your electricity on the ball. Well, don't I go in order? Yeah, I go in order. Oh, okay. So, oh, you gotta jump on. Oh, I see. And then you could, if you, I guess you could switch to Amy to float or something, right? Does she float? She has triple jump. Oh, right come on up here. Come on up here. <laughs> you guys oh, remember how weird it was that phrase. Nintendo and Sega partnered and they agreed they were going to release three exclusive Sonic games on Wii U, right? Okay. And so right. one of them was oh, this. Oh, yeah. I'm dumb. One of them was the game none of us have mentioned, which is a sin on our part, Sonic Lost World. Which is, was kind of, uh, like... Uh, galaxy esque, right? Like you could go around. That was that was seemed to be some influence. Yeah. yeah. Although I remember talking to the producer and he's like, no. Oh. Um, but I don't think, unless Mario and Sonic at the Winter Games counts. I don't think so. Then I don't think they fulfilled on that deal. Because Boom was not exclusive, right? Uh, I think it is. 
Whoa! What? Oh, I'm sorry. So you were saying Boom and then uh, Lost World. Yes. Those were the two. Generations was not exclusive. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, I guess the Olympic game counts. That. Pff. I guess that well, counts. Well, maybe okay. uh, contractually, maybe I mean it was over a certain amount of time, and the Wii U didn't fulfill its end of the bargain, so to speak. I don't know. Contracts work, but I don't think that's part of it, Kyle. Okay. What? Wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> was Sonic just not cool enough? They needed to give him a new power, and he can just shoot lightning now. Is that what it is? It's his little whip, right? He can like, it's his. It, he can swing on it. It's how he booms. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Amy. What, Amy what are you doing it? in there? Every time he does, he should be like a bolt out of the blue. <laughs> I don't know where th this is. This has not been established in any other of my cannons. This is just a coin thing. <laughs> Why is he saying no. that again? I said coin. Oh. Um, I think we're good and stuck. I think we're, this is good. Oh, it's Sonic can grab those. Look, we're not stuck. We're exactly where we always want to be, just like a little hobbit or whatever. Sonic can, but I can't right now. You're never stuck. You're always just where you need to be. Well, there you go. Thank you, Reese. Sonic Open World. You always wanted it, and here it is. I like it conceptually. Hope you enjoyed Especially it. Especially from the people that make Jack and Daxter. Like, that's a great idea. All those pieces should Gosh. be lining up. I can't wait. When does this come out again? <laughs> well, this is just the alpha. It has a lot of work. It's Check out uh, the Game Informer cover. For yeah. Come in uh, September 2018. Pre-order now. Cool. Uh, hey, guys. That is uh, a pretty good look at Rise of the Lyric. Another low point for Sonic. He's had many of them. More than any other character, right? I think so. Low points? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, but let's look at something a little better. One of the best logos of all time, right? Oh, so it's good. good. We really all good, love actually, it. Yeah. Especially in the beginning of the Lost World game of PS1 when a raptor eats that kid. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's awesome. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, it like pulls him down. That, at all. that logo just makes you feel good. And then what's this crap? No. Gross. Oh, oh. oh, I like this one. Yeah. That's, that's oh a robot. boy, Taurus Games. I always remember sending you down to a movie, and the more like epic and like sweeping and longer the intro like logos were, the better I thought the movie was going to be. <laughs> this is Rise of the Guardians. Uh, we believe we've never played this before. <clears throat> we're all, we're fairly certain. I looked at the wiki. I don't know why you think we would have, Reiner. It was a sealed copy on we, Wii U we got here, everyone man. Hey, man, game, we man. didn't think we played VIP last week. And, <laughs> that's uh, on us. That's the third time we played that. <laughs> There's no doubt that's on us. <laughs> we should just do it again next week. Just keep doing it. We and we did look at the wiki. The yeah. I guess we didn't do V period dot I dot P dot. That's Bunny Mund. What? So, this game is based on a CG movie. Mm -hmm. North. They couldn't get Alec Together, Baldwin. Pretty they clear. Are known oh, I didn't know he's in it. Guardians. Yeah, he plays Russian Santa Claus, and, and Hugh Jackman is the bunny, children hmm. who's from Australia, so they he finally gets to use his accent. They couldn't call him, like, Santa Claus in the movie? No, he's Santa Claus in the movie, oh, okay. but he just has a Russian accent. Yeah, basically, like, they're the Avengers. Like all of our wonderful gift givers and egg givers. Have you okay. both seen this movie, Renner and Kyle? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it a bunch of times. This is not a bad movie. I don't understand. There's going to be more interesting movies to watch. Yeah, we watched those two. I mean, have you guys watched Paul Blart? <laughs> on a plane. No. Never will. Who's, who's the little sun guy? He's the Sandman. If we do not you know, out of sand? <laughs> no, he puts we you to sleep. He gives you your dreams. You know, like the sun always puts you to sleep. That's right. He's made of sand. He's not the sun. Reiner, help me. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's the tooth fairy. Okay. Is Reiner? Is this one that you've watched more than once? Like, yes, I've seen it like three times. Okay, it's in this the the rotation at yeah. home. Yeah. See, every once in a while, we'll pick it up and be like, let's watch this again. Yeah. And just one tear. <laughs> Down my cheek as I put it in. Is this a sad movie? Tier one says Ryan. No, it's just my life. <laughs> just have to watch Rise of the Guardians. Oh, daughters growing Jack up. Hey, is that Jack Frost? That looks like Neil Gaiman's Sandman. The same thing as you. So and that's uh, that? who voices him. It's uh, Young it's Dumbledore. Who's that guy? Alone, Jude Law. Jude Law. We can succeed. And then the uh, one of the many so. Hollywood Chris's plays Jack Frost. Let's run him down. Chris Pratt. Chris Evans. Evans. Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, and then O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> now, who, who plays Captain Kirk? Isn't he a Chris as well? That's that's one of them, right? Chris Evans. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Oh, yeah. There we go. Chris Pine. That's Jack Chris Cross. Pine, right? Yeah. The big Chris T. The big Chris T. 
Do you think they'll? Oh wait, the hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. Do you think they'll ever make a movie just called The Chris's? That'd be cool yeah. if they got all the Hollywood Chris's together. Wait, no was they, to wasn't that a bit Bristol on like MTV World Movie Awards or something this year? Was it? I don't know. Or the Oscars? Is like the cut Oscars thing or something? Remember they released that animatic Lonely oh, Island? I think yeah, the Chris's. Was, was, was that a Chris thing? Uh, okay. I mean, that was about superhero movies getting uh, stiffed at uh, film. At right. Like, you know, but I think that might have been a joke in there. Yeah. All the different Chris's. I should write jokes for... Yeah, for Lonely Island, at least. <laughs> this is like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It is. is but it? I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> do, you, do you think any of those films deserve like an award at the Oscars, though? Yes. Um, like other than like special effects, like awards. Um. So, yeah, it should get the nice. movies nice. people actually yeah. care about award. Oh, it should. Bro, I like those right? fancy uh -huh. artsy movies. Yeah, artsy's fine, but realistically, writing the screenplay for Infinity War and making it work as well as it does, <laughs> yeah. I think, go ahead and give him an Oscar. I think that. that deserves something, it's honestly. Just, like, that was, the making it work is especially... Like, right, but writing about some teenage girl that cries is hard too, everybody. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh. Stop this Wait, who's the guy with the bitch. stick? That's Jack Frost. And to think they who's that, then? That's uh, so the boogeyman. To be a god. Oh, Jack. Yeah. But there's a catch. And the idea is that like Jack Frost is like trying to become part of the core yeah. group because like, he's not cool. It's his origin story, whereas everybody else is well established. He's the fish out of water to be like, who's this? Yeah. What are you all about? Kids sure. can't see him because they don't Why know are about we, him. Uh, one of these dusty. To restore Dream the Sam. There you go. Uh, I mean, who? Okay. Are they missing anybody? Who else would you add to this roster? Mm. Did you add anybody? Ramadan. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, the Don. Yeah. Uh, the himself. Hmm. Uh, Thanksgiving turkey. Yep. But <laughs> Owen Wilson already made that turkeys movie. So oh God, he's that. just a turkey. Okay, that, that's I can't a, believe that exists. That is a we movie. We saw that too. Yep, I watched that, and I am very glad it did not enter the rotation. I only had to watch that one once. <laughs> I watched Sherlock Gnomes last night. That's a bad movie. Oh, man. Good pun, though, right? Too deep of a dive. It's <laughs> weird to think that Give me the bunny. technically Disney funded that, right? It has. It's weird. It's a different production. It's a sequel, but it's a different production company. Okay. The first one. The other thing, real quick. By the way, the first movie was Nomeo and Juliet, right? Yeah. So like Shakespeare. What is the line to Sherlock Holmes? Like, what is the theme of those films? Get Old crap. Literature? Just like broad. Yeah, just broad books? literature. <laughs> broad books. You got it. It's the line is. Does anybody have any kind of idea? Can somebody make a pun? With <laughs> <laughs> the word no. It took three weeks. <laughs> Is Johnny Depp free? <laughs> hey Reeves, do these enemies remind you of Venom? Tell pitch. We're Ooh. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You're By the way, uh, what do you guys think of that Venom trailer? <laughs> Timely. It's out there on the internet. The symbiote. <laughs> because I was at symbiote. Uh, I think symbiote was symbiote? The, when I went and see to see Solo. The Venom trailer was there, oh. and like the guys behind How me were like he? losing their mind about it. Really? Actually, yeah, Reeves, I was there with you, and the people that we went with were losing their minds about it. Oh, that's right. It. And it was very confusing, because they didn't know that it was a Venom movie, and so they're like, wouldn't it be cool if this was Venom? And they then didn't we, know they were making a Venom movie, yeah. Right. So wait, like, all the stuff that happens in the trailer that is very clearly Venom, they didn't realize it was Venom. Well, it's, it's, you not, don't it's not see that Venom until clearly the Venom. Yeah, okay. like, they're like, hey, Eddie, get over here, buddy. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to the North Pole. And they don't like mention Spider-Man or anything. That's true. Think, so. You know what does look awesome, though, is that animated Spider-Man movie? Yeah. That does look yeah. awesome. That movie looks I, awesome. I love, I love when big-budget animated films are North. getting freaky art styles. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who plays Spider-Man was like in the New Girl. Yeah. yeah. He's so good. He, I love that well, casting. I like the guy, but it's just the voice is throwing me off. sounds uh, like he's 45. It Guys, doesn't sound like Spider-Man to me. I, Reeves, I hate to break you, but you're wrong. It's perfect casting. Okay. I mean, again, <laughs> I like that guy. He's already my favorite Spider-Man. Jake, Spider Jake okay. Johnson? Is <laughs> that his name? Yeah, Jake Johnson. No, I just, I, I really was excited about that. We'll see how it pans out, but the idea of Nick from New Girl being Spider-Man is just, I love that idea. <laughs> hey, could there be a team of Jakes? Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Johnson. <laughs> oh, there That's we really go. Lovely. Absolutely. Jake. Jake the Snake, Roberts. Oh, he has a snake. Okay, what do I do here? Whatever you Track want. mission progress. 
Oh, the other, so this the other, is like a hub world then, huh? The other weird thing about this movie is they all talk to the man on the moon. What? Okay. That's but, cool. But well, it, I think it is kind of cool because they don't. It, it's never like a person who's anthropomorphized. It, they just kind of look at the moon and they get these messages in their brain. So he's kind of like their Zoltar or what? Kind of, yeah. So he doesn't speak out loud. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> just had an epiphany, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> just hit me. An epiphany. God of War DLC. Just Kratos taking out Santa. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really good, actually. Yeah, how, how many units would that sell? Standalone DLC, just oh like a two-hour mission of him hunting down and murdering Santa Claus. Oh, well, all of his reindeer first. And oh, then, of course. Because of course. Yeah. the boy could take him down. You know, you have that whole thing. Right. Stay your right. aim, boy. Uh, yeah, Shoot. I would play the hell out of that. Is he, Santa Claus based in Norse mythology? Is that kind of where he I don't know. I think it's some weird German crap. But you Saint just Nick. so close. <laughs> you just want to kill Santa. Well, no, I think it's a really good idea. I love and it. And Santa's like a badass warrior. Yeah. yeah. Just release it around Christmas time. You would sell more than pff, Costume Quest Grubbins on Ice or whatever it was called. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Well, to be fair, you could do God of War anything. That would be maybe the best selling DLC next to what? Far Cry, Blood Dragon, and... Yeah. Oh, uh, what was the other one I was trying to think of? The other good one. Okay, so what? The one other good one. Oh, uh, it was on the tip of my tongue. I had it. Hmm. Uh, it's really good. Trust me. The Yeti one from Far Cry 4? No, it's not Far Cry. The, the Tyranny of King George from Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do like when... I never played that one in particular, but I do no, like I when you just like go crazy with DLC. Oh, uh, Red Dead, Undead Night. Oh, the, oh, oh yeah. That is that is a good one. Good. Yeah, it was and guaranteed the, sell more. So, okay, well, what's it called? <laughs> is it called mm, Kratos... Okay. Hunts Santa Claus like straight to the point. Santa Kratos. It'd be God of War colon Santa v Kratos. That's eh. That's so on the nose. It's got to be something more clever than that. Like uh, the Christmas, what about Christmas Kratos, the godly gift or something. Yeah. Why don't you sing a Christmas Gifts Kratos from the gods? Oh, that's good. I was gonna say something that's probably not safe for. Well, Hanson's really? bleeping a bunch of all stuff. Right, in this all, right, everybody. So. all right, all right, all right, everybody. Come on, Come on. chill out. Yeah, all right, this is a family show. show. By the way, guys, all those E3 announcements, huh? Those Kyle, were crazy. I hate this. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Go we're there, recording Kyle. this before E3, so I hate that. What's your favorite one so far? You have to oh, bleep man. that out. That second one. <laughs> I mean, when uh, Bigfoot got on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mind. I thought I heard you squealing from the theater. <laughs> I turned into a what pig. If people That's are losing their mind behind us. They didn't realize it was Bigfoot. What if it's, <laughs> what if it's revealed that... I didn't realize it was Bigfoot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wouldn't it be crazy if this was Bigfoot? Oh, they got Bigfoot! <laughs> what if it's revealed that... The is that Jack Bigfoot or is that his brother? <laughs> what if it's revealed that the Jack Link's Bigfoot was actually the real one and Sony figured it out? <laughs> the first people to ask for that one? <laughs> yeah, that Jack wasn't a costume! <laughs> and Jack Link's is just shrugging. They're like, hold yeah, on. we got... No one really thought him. that was a big deal. Uh, I don't people, know why. People just tried to skip that ad on YouTube. They didn't realize that it was amazing. We footage. were very upfront that it's Sasquatch. <laughs> hey, can we see the uh, the costume for that, Jack Links? Uh, like he keeps coming in costume to the meetings, and they're like, "Can we have you out of costume once?" And he's like, "What are you talking about?" Ryan, here's a fun fact. Uh, remember when we had that Fulton live stream and stuff for the 300th issue? Kinda. Uh, this guy, who was a friend of some old friends, who you know very dearly now. Uh, he's like, Cryptic. hey, I oh. work for, he's like, hey, I work for Jack Link's, uh, jerky or whatever the hell that is. Mm -hmm. Is that he's, what he said? Yeah. And he's, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> whatever the hell. He's like, I don't know you guys are doing a live stream here. Could we just get like a bunch of jerky and just put it on the table in front of you guys for your live stream? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just cover our gate table and jerk. Hey, did Man, you tell him to jerk off? I, and then I said, jerk off in front of me. <laughs> No, we gotta go for it, dude. You never know if you don't ask, right. you know? <laughs> that was the right call, right, Reiner? Yeah. That was the right call, but you want to know something even crazier? Yeah. My sister's like a higher up there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. She picks the cows that they kill. What? One by one? That's one what the higher one. ups do? That's, that's exactly she sends out a drone <laughs> over... the CEO does? Like, she sends out a, a drone cow. over a field of cows, and she just points at them on a monitor, and then... Then a crane comes and gets them. That sounds like a really good God of War deal. Giant <laughs> crane. <laughs> crane the toes. cow's coming home. Uh, this is the worst episode of Replay ever. <laughs> cow's coming home to roost. <laughs> and I'm going to kill him. This game's kind of neat. Got all sorts of playable characters. No doubt. It's really cool. 
Did I play the Tooth Fairy? I'm trying. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, Tooth Fairy's like a bird, lizard, Yeah, lady. hummingbird. I guess that's okay. I would prefer Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Was he the Tooth Fairy in that film? Yeah. yeah. Was, was he, he really? Did they make two? Did it swap who the Tooth Fairy was? Uh, oh, was Vin Diesel ever a Tooth Fairy? That sounds right. He was a babysitter. Oh, wait, he was a babysitter. Manny, right? Pacifier. Oh, Pacifier. There we go. Oh, I remember that. Was it like John Cena? He gets all the, the seconds. <laughs> right. The seconds. right. He, he really like does. He's starting right. to build up uh, something. But he's still phone call number two in he's, terms of Oh, at role. least. He was in uh, Fernadan. 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 Fern Fer Ferdinand's Gully. Um. <laughs> he's Can't in something like that joke. Fernadan's. Uh, he's in something coming out soon. That was just announced. Sure. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. Now yeah. he's in that. Uh, he wrestles. Blockers. My birthday party. He's coming to your birthday party? Yeah. Sorry, Kyle, you're not invited. Oh. oh. Why do I'm they keep coming? Space. Why is this, like, the worst they're combat bad situation thoughts, ever? They're dude. They, like, they're going to always keep coming. One is bad thought begets another bad thought. I guess it's a boss fight. Who are you fighting? I'm trying to protect this little gnome, maybe? Like, his health oh. bar? Or is it, like, is oh, he is that summoning gnome gnome? <laughs> <laughs> This is as confusing visually as a MOBA. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it looks like a, that's funny. man. They could have made this into a MOBA. Shut up. They're halfway oh, there. Man. Nomi. I kind of want to let him die and just end the episode. These guys, they kind of now they look like uh, they they belong in Kingdom Hearts. The yeah, they do. You can't like insult them like that, Reiner. Come Holy on. hell, that was <laughs> a real situation. It, wow, that just went on forever. Well, you did it. Oh, you're unlike this Guardians. episode. We're going to wrap it up. Whoa. That is uh, Replay, everyone. Oh. Thanks for watching. Sorry again for playing uh, VIP for the third time. <laughs> uh, you'll so never see the second time, or the first time we played it, because we deleted that. Uh, because Dan Reckert was in a bad mood, and it was not a good episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, we'll be back in seven days with brand new crappy old games. That's a real thing. We'll see you then. <laughs>